In today's video, we'll talk about the steps you can take to prolong the life of your Minus 80 PHCBI branded freezer. Three steps that you can take, first being the condenser filter. We do recommend cleaning this periodically, and we'll go over the steps that you can take to act actively clean this filter. Next is going to be verifying good adequate seals with all of your doors, including your inner doors. And finally, ice and frost buildup removal. Periodically, Debris and buildup will get clogged inside of this filter area here. This simply opens up and swivels down forward and exposes the filter for the condenser coil. Now this can be ran under a running water or simply scraped into a garbage bin and then placed back into the slotted ramp inside of the unit. This will help maintain performance of your minus 80 freezer and allow it for it to actively reject heat from the chamber to the existing air. That's something that should be done at least every three months or depending on environmental conditions. The next step we'll do is making sure that you have an adequate seal all across your outer door. This will also apply to your two, four, or five inner door option depending on the model that you have. You want to verify that there are no debris or any type of cuts or nicks inside the gasket which will prevent the outer door or inner door from sealing properly. One simple way to make sure that the gasket is making an adequate seal is to take a dry cloth and simply wipe around the entire frame of the freezer. Depending on the model that you have, you might also have another gasket on, side, on the side of the door here as well. Follow the same procedures and make sure that everything is sealing properly. One quick test that you can do to verify that the gasket is working properly is visually inspecting the inner doors to, to ensure that there is no excessive ice buildup in familiar or certain patterns. For instance, if we had a slice or debris inside this portion here, this gasket will see a lot of ice buildup in this formation here. That's because of the equalization of the ambient air flowing through and then condensing and freezing in this general area. As you can see in this freezer, we have uniform frost buildup. That ensures and, and proves to us that we do have an adequate seal on this freezer here. With any minus 80 freezer, you will uh, experience ice buildup, and that's a normal occurrence with, with any ultra-low temperature freezer. When you do start to see excessive ice buildup, it is important to go ahead and scrape any excessive ice and ensure that uh, all your latches and seals are good. With your operator's manual, you will come with a set of uh, standard accessories, such as an ice scraper. One simple way you can use this ice scraper is to go ahead you can place a mat or something to absorb any of the ice, a bucket, something like that, in order to catch any ex excessive ice buildup that you're able to scrape from the freezer. This can also be done on the in interior portion of the chamber as well. Same method, using the provided ice scraper and scraping any excessive ice buildup inside of the chamber. If ice buildup is severe, another simple method you can do is simply open up the door, open up your inner door to a 90 degree angle, and lift straight up. Now that the door is removed and is draining for a period of 24 to 48 hours, once all the frost buildup has been removed, you can follow the same steps to place the inner door back on to the hinge pins. That method of removal is more so in the event that you're not able to fully defrost the unit, which we do recommend doing at least once per year. The next portion on PHCBI units that we do have is a manual vacuum relief port. You will see a tool like this, simply a blunt ended object with a handle that will allow you to clear out the vacuum relief port here. 
This vacuum relief port allows equal, quick equalization of the exterior and interior of the chamber, which allows you to open the door much quicker. This is just to ensure that the vacuum relief port is free of any ice accumulation. If ice accumulation does form in this portion, then you're not going to be able to utilize the vacuum, the manual vacuum relief port. PHCBI uh, series eco units do come standard with a automatic vacuum relief port, but it is still nice to utilize the manual relief port as needed. Once the port has been placed back on, it's important to screw all the way clockwise using your hand until you get a nice tight seal. This portion has been a video tutorial of the preventative maintenance that you can do as an end user to help prolong the life of your unit. We do recommend annual calibration and a few other adjustments such as latch, hinge, and other adjustments that can be made by a qualified service technician. Thank you.